Welcome back friends, this is Ramesh Sharma here and you are watching React Redux Firebase Simple Block series and this is a part 15th of this series and in the previous part we uh, we learned that how we can edit the post here so now uh, when we will click on this post and here I'm going to write post uh, test post updated is there so I'm going to remove the updated and click on update post and here we are getting post successfully updated here so when we will go back to the this post here so now see that we no, we are not having the here updated now i am also refreshing this page again and let's move to the post here and see that in the database also this post test post we updated has changed the title now now today what we will do today we will uh, see how we can delete the post here so uh, the post is also having the image and post is also having the data here so there are two things that we have to delete so first of all let's see about that so how we are going to delete this post here then this is just a two to three minute task and now we will move further without any so here this is our firebase console here and see that here we have uh, one image property also we have one image property in our document here in all posts we are having the image here and this is the image link so now in the storage what we have in the storage we have the post folder and the, that this is having the post id and the image belong to the particular post that is having this post id here as a document id this image id as a document id now there are two scenarios to delete these images here so we can delete with the reference and the second thing we can delete with the url so but to make it easy we have uh, we will use the url only as you can use the reference also because this image is there and this image is, have, is having the post id so you can also delete the image as a reference with the help of post ID only. So that is also an easy work. But we are not going to do this. Just we are going to remove uh, with the help of URL here. With the reference of URL. So our Firebase is also having this property, uh, this feature to remove any image with the help of URL only. So we will do that. Now without wasting any time so first of all we will set up the redux for this and then we will start the logic here so let's set up the redux for this so here let's go to the source folder and in the source folder we will go to the redux first so source folder redux and then types to the post type here we will create the type for the delete post delete post save this now let's move to the reducers and post reducer here so here we will create one case that will be for types dot uh, delete delete post so delete post is there and then here we will filter all the posts filtered posts and then that will be from state dot post dot filter and here we will get the post here and that we will check if if post dot post id if post dot post id is not equals to equals to payload dot post id then we will remove this so uh, the post id should not be same if the post id is not same then we are going to filter otherwise we are not going to filter so this will return us the array and we are going to update the state so state as dot 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 state and post is equals to filtered post so filtered post and then return state here save this now let's move to the action uh, creators here that will be the post action creator and here we will create for the delete post constant delete post
here it will be having the data here it will return first of all type and type will be types dot delete post so delete post is there and then payload payload will be data only so now let's move here here let's create delete post action creator so it will be export const delete uh, remove post so remove post and it want the post id so post id it want and then it want image url so image url will be there and then there will be the post ID dispatch and here first uh, here we will apply the logic here to delete the delete post and image logic so I'm going to save this now we have done the redux successfully here now we will apply the logic here now we don't need post producer anymore and post types anymore here now we will move forward to the components in the components we will move to the uh, sorry we don't need components here we will move to the admin and then dashboard and then all posts in the all posts we have to move and here delete post we have to apply the on click button so let's write on click here we also need the dispatch here so for that we have to import the dispatch so dispatch is imported previously and here we are going to dispatch remove remove post here so we are going to dispatch the remove post so remove post we have to import here that is remove post so remove post I am reporting so remove post and here we have to uh, first of all there will be the post id here and that will be the pst dot post id and second mm -hmm. argument we have to pass and that is the image url that is post dot post data dot image so I think this is the so let's see here let's go to the react firebase block and when we will see here to the state to the post and post this is our first post in the post data there is our image here so means this is correct these are this is our post here so means this is correct here we are passing the image as well as now save this and let's move to the post section creator so here we will add one thing here uh, for, first of all we have to delete the image here so for that we are going to use storage here so storage we have imported the we had imported the storage already yes storage is already imported from the firebase here so storage dot then reference from url so reference from url we are getting as image url we have dot delete then delete operation is there so this delete operation dot then if it is successful so if it is successful as it will return nothing here so it if this is successful then we are going to dispatch dispatch delete post so delete post and it want one thing as object it want the post id so i'm going to pass the post id here dot catch so if there is any error so if error we are just going to toast 
toss dot error something went wrong and then we are going to console log the error also so console dot log error now if this is successfully here so uh, actually we have to remove this from here we have to paste it here now it is good so now before dispatching we also have to remove the uh, document here so for that we are going to use firestore firestore dot collection so collection will be of post dot document id so that document id is the post id post id dot delete so delete is there then dot then it will be just same now we are going to dispatch this otherwise if there is any error so we should display the error same and here we are going to toast dot success successfully deleted the post save this now let's move there and let's see how it is working here let's move to the post and we have to delete the first post here so i'm going to delete the first post now let's click on delete post here it will take little time see that our post is successfully deleted that is test post 3 is deleted now now let's move to here see that here we are having only two posts uh, first post id start is starting from g and second post id is starting from 6 now let's move to the storage here and let's check if we are having image or not now let's move to the post folder and see that in the post folders we are having only two images first for uh, post id with 6 and second post for post id with g here so this means that our delete operation is also working perfectly now we have completed the admin panel successfully here and in the next video we will uh, start creating the front panel so first of all we will create the home page for the front panel and then uh, we will create the second post page for the home panel after that there will be a bonus video for this managing this dashboard home page so for today this is enough and then we will also move to the deployment there so i will tell you how you can deploy this to the firebase so for today this is enough if you have any queries please come comment in comment section i will definitely respond to that at last thanks for watching i will see you in the next tutorial